I know that was a really weird intro, but maybe you're surprised because I'm actually making a video. I'm sorry for not making a video in uh, three weeks, I think. It's because of school, and it definitely does come first, so I'm sorry. That's just how my priorities are. But I'm going to make some more videos this week since I have part of the week off for Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this close to Thanksgiving. This video is the first in a series of videos where I talk about alternative applications for apps that come on your Mac or just apps that most people use on the Mac. So in this video, I'll be talking about alternative web browsers. So that means alternatives to Safari. So here's Safari. Everyone knows about Safari if you have a Mac because it does come on it. So some features that are noted are the top sites feature where it shows your most frequently visited sites and you can click on one to go to it. And Safari 4, by the way, guys, is really fast, at least for me. I don't know about you. Um, there's your history, which you can actually view in CoverFlow, which is a nice feature. And so those are two noted features for Safari 4, I guess. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about other web browsers. So the first one I'm going to go over today is Camino. I have a bunch of tabs open here to show you some nice features that are included with tabs. So as you can see, you can actually, if you have tons of tabs open like I do here, you can actually scroll through them so you can see all of them at once. Whereas in Safari, there's this little carrot here. You can click that and see all of your tabs. I do like this in Safari, but it would be nice to have that little scrolling feature as well. Also, if you go to Window and then Show Tab Overview, it'll show you an overview of all the tabs that you have open. So I can click on one of these pictures, and it'll take me to that tab with the website on it. Another nice feature is if I go to, here, I'll just, I'm on CNET.com right now. If I open up the preferences under web features and annoyance blocking, you can actually prevent sites from changing, moving, or resizing windows, which is really useful for those um, the, when you get rickrolled and you have those windows that move around your screen and it's like singing and it's really annoying. Um, you can block web, web advertising. So here's an ad right here, PC Home Makeover. If I click that, because I don't need a PC, the ad will go away. This also works on YouTube videos if those ads next to the side on partner videos annoy you. And you can also block flash animations, which can be good or bad, but it can actually ignore um, certain websites. So if I click edit flash exceptions list, I can allow flash animations from specific sites, for example, YouTube. And same thing goes for a pop-up window. So that's a really nice feature. Another preference I like is the appearance one. I can actually change the colors and links. So for text, if I change it to blue, you don't see anything on CNET. That's not a good example. But if I go to YouTube.com, as you can see, all this text is normally black, but here it's blue. So it actually works on some websites. And that's pretty much Camino. It's a very basic web browser with some nice features. And it's fast. The only thing I don't really like is say so go to apple.com whoops apple.cml.com it doesn't show the page until it's completely loaded pretty much so if a page is taking a long time to load that's annoying because you don't get like a preview of part of the page loading so yeah that is Camino the next web browser is Firefox I'm not gonna go over this that much because um, it's a very popular web browser and I'm sure everyone knows about it. So I'm going to go to mozilla.com, Firefox. So here's Firefox. It's kind of similar looking to Safari. Um, and Firefox is known for all the add-ons and customizing you can do. And I really like that about Firefox. Fashion your Firefox kind of fits you into a certain personality type and helps you find add-ons for things that you like. For example, Social Butterfly. 
There's add-ons like Facebook Toolbar to integrate Facebook Life into your browser and you knew, socialize your browser. There's tons of add-ons. There's also lots of themes, skins, all these customizing options. I'm going to show you what it's like to download a theme. So if I go to customization and themes, Okay, so here's this, this is interesting, Chroma Fox Basic. So click that, add to Firefox, install, that will install, it's very fast as you can see. You have to restart your Firefox to complete the changes. And as you can see, it's kind of Google Chrome-ish, and I actually like this theme. So that's Firefox for you. It's a really useful application to have. If you are a Safari user, I recommend having Firefox as well, just for like a backup browser type thing. The next app is called Flock, and this is pretty much the social uh, web browser. As you can see, right when you open it up the first time, it'll ask you to turn on Flock's most popular features. So Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, there's also media bars for YouTube, Flickr, um, and then there's webmail. So there's tons of buttons here. I'll go over a few of them. First one is My World, which is a cool feature. And you'll have favorite feeds. So these are um, like RSS feeds, media, which I haven't really set up anything yet. And then on this side, I have friend activity, which is actually a widget I added, as you can see here. So these are this is things from Twitter. So that is my world. It's a really cool feature. Next thing is the people sidebar. So as you can see, it opens in this little um, sidebar. So I have Twitter. It's kind of like having a mini Twitter app inside of your web browser. It's right there and it's very useful. So there's Twitter. I'm not logged into Facebook, but there is a Facebook one. You can see your mentions and DMs, which I'm not going to show you. Um, so that's the people sidebar. This next button is the media bar, which I have on YouTube right now. And you can actually search YouTube, and then you can click one of the videos that pops up, and it'll bring you directly to the page. Sometimes it does take a while, as you can see right now, which is annoying. Here's some of my videos. If I click on this once, my room tour, I think, it goes directly to the video. So that's the media bar. As you can see, it is all pretty color cluttered, but I guess either way, you'd either have Twitter open in a separate window on your desktop and then YouTube in another tab. So it's nice to have this up here. Um, there's also RSS feeds built into the side and webmail. I like this feature. You can log into Gmail directly. And it, everything opens up in a new tab, so you have everything else still open. And there are other features like the favorite sidebar. But my favorite feature of this web browser is the web clipboard sidebar. So as you can see, I have some things here. Um, what I did was I went to Google, I looked up italk Apple, and I clicked images. And you just drag the image um, to the side. You can do this with text too, so I'll highlight some text drag it over, and there it is. I can click view, and there it is. I can click on these links, I can copy and paste it into a Word document, and I can email it to someone, I can even blog it. Um, with pictures, you can click view and then click on the picture, and it'll take you to wherever you found that picture. So that's Flock. It's a really nice application. I don't know if I'd use it so much for web browsing as just staying connected with people, but it's nice to have as well. The final web browser I'm going to show today is Google Chrome. Uh, keep in mind that this isn't like a final version for the Mac. It's only really out for Windows right now, but I'm not sure if this is a beta or a developer preview. I don't remember which one, but either way, it's not finished. So it can be a little buggy sometimes, but it's still really fast. And I really like Google Chrome because it's so clean and simple compared to, say, Flock and even Firefox. Just the interface is nice, but it's still capable of a lot. So if I open a new tab, you get this kind of top sites feature. That's what I'll call it. 
uh, Safari, I'm pretty sure, did steal this feature from Google. Chrome actually has themes, not too many, but I can click on the themes gallery here, and there are themes by artists. So let's see, I'll pick a random one. Um, Super Monkey Ball. The theme will download on the side, it's really fast, and it automatically applies. And then if you really don't like it, you can undo it and it'll go back to your previous theme. Here's typography. That one's weird. Um, glossy blue, floral, floral blue. <laughs> oh, well, that's intense. Glossy blue is probably one of the most normal. There's also brushed. So you can see that it's, um, it doesn't really seem buggy at all. So and I can undo and go to the previous one. So Chrome, it's fast, it's reliable most of the time. Um, there's nice preferences, so you can actually, of course, open more than one page on startup in multiple tabs, which Safari doesn't have. Firefox does have that feature. But that's Chrome, and those are all of the web browsers I'll be showing you today. I have two others here, Stainless and Sunrise quickly just open up Sunrise and you can see this one's very unique. Um, this is kind of like a top sites feature. You just drag the site and you can actually edit the um, site name. It's a very uh, unique web browser. Um, so if you really want to try something different then download Sunrise. But um, the, the ones that I recommend are Safari, Camino, Firefox, Block, and Chrome. Stainless was kind of a copycat of Chrome before Chrome was released for the Mac. And now that Chrome is out, I would say take Chrome. So, yeah, that's it for the alternative web browser video. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, I'm sorry for not making videos for a while. And see you in my next video. Have a nice day.